Well, boys, I figured I'd give you an update on the Ford since uh, this Ford's been pretty eventful. Let me let me say that. That's the least eventful. Um, I don't know how to say this. I think I was going to run out of patience for this thing. I was ready to put it up in flames a couple times. Just couldn't put a finger on it. Engine runs healthy. Gobbled down a gallon a day. Went down, went up to about six gallons a day. Oh, just freaking dumb soil. I honestly thought I had a, a shot engine. And I'm just like, man, that can't be right. It can't, it can't have decent compression and go through oil so hard, so at a rapid pace. You know, like your oil rings, they go bad, but not from a gallon to six gallons within days. So it happens that this this Ford died out in this furthest point of its trip that we had planned. It was something along the lines of, you know, Spokane, Portland, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and back back up to Portland and back to Spokane. Well, guess where it croaked out in? Las Vegas. Well, anyways, so once it croaked out in Las Vegas, I sent out another truck with a, with a gooseneck with another tra truck on there. Truck trailer and a truck. Went down to Las Vegas and uh, rescued this pile of joy. Check out this Ford. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Lord and behold, well, I won't jump to a conclusion so fast. When they were driving back, and, and I kept, kept contemplating, I'm like, that can't be right. I'm like, okay, fine. It might be a turbo seal, you know, just might be a turbo seal because this thing was smoking really hard. And, uh, and I came to a conclusion, two things. Either the O-rings on the injectors, which a lot of things point that way, but the fact that I know these injectors are only, you know, 50, 60,000 miles old, can't be it shouldn't be it in all theory uh, i'm thinking it's the turbo seals i thought man the turbo seal went out probably on the intake side somehow uh, because uh the the tailpipe was caked but it wasn't raw you know it was burnt you could tell the 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 oil went through the combustion chamber so i told my guys my mechanics i'm like hey when that truck comes in i want the turbo checked out and then if that's if the turbo is solid leave it alone and uh yank all the injectors on it lord behold when they uh checked the turbo everything was good dry and solid and when they pulled the injector all of them were fine but one one of one of the gaskets o-rings whatever you want to call it let's be proper o-rings they decided to uh they decided to take a dump you know and and who to blame would be my guys because they're the ones that installed it. It looks like it bit a chunk off of it. So it just worked its way past that, you know. It just kept kept chewing itself out, eating that eating away. So yeah guys, that was the problem. That's the reason why my truck was doing gallons and gallons a day. Uh, it came to a point where the guys topped off the oil but it wouldn't run anymore, so that was a little funky stuff. Uh, it was so rapid, so quick, I couldn't tell Jack. I mean, I have very lim limited experience with these Fords. Um, in a lot of my videos, I've heard requests of guys wanting to uh, hear this thing run. So here we are. I'll, uh, I'll step outside, do a little visual. The truck's pretty solid for what it is. You know, the guy that's driving this truck, uh, not a bad guy. I, I, I tries to keep it as clean as possible and uh does an okay job at it this is another truck that runs magnets i don't know if you could tell the square there but anyways now didn't beat it up not missing any fenders or anything like that Sounds pretty good. Runs really healthy. Oh, um, that's it. Well, actually, no. Let me finish off the story. I was a little skeptical 
once we fixed the o-rings you know truck started running much better better performance and all that but i still dumped a lot of white smoke out that tailpipe man was i was i getting worked up so the the smoke would come as the boost kicks in I'm like, okay boys well i'm driving this thing as much as i enjoy driving this thing but you know took it out for a couple days it was my personal rig for a couple days you know drove it and guess what i'm guessing this is what happened the oil made itself made its way into the fuel because that's what's going on with the o-ring the o-ring wasn't sealing it was just pushing instead of that uh oil pressure opening up the injector it was just jamming its way into the fuel system so once i burnt off a good portion of the fuel or whatever the wherever the fuel was being picked up at i started tapering off on the on the oil it really puzzled me is the fact that as I was boosting my my uh, my oil, well now I'm saying oil, but my smoke was just just getting thicker. If you know what I'm trying to say here. So the more boost, the more oil is being injected. In my translation, I'm like, crap, something else is wrong. So I kept driving this thing. I just coolant's not disappearing. Well, when they when they came back on the trailer, he had a problem with his O-ring on the thermostat housing. By the way, I had to change the water pump in the housing. That fixed it. <coughs> So I kept driving, and I'm like, oil's not going anywhere. Awesome, but why am I smoking? Compared to the way I was losing oil before. Coolant's not leaving. What the heckers is going on, man? I was just puzzled. And lo and behold, it just tapered its way out. You know, this truck's running as, as healthy as it probably ever was. <laughs> it just has decent low end. Just idle, smooth, clean. No issues whatsoever. But... I am noticing, here, let me show you guys. Let me zoom in on that. Well, that, that mirror looks really clean, I know, guys, but check this out. That's, that's throttle, you know, that's the foot all the way down. That's nothing compared to the way this thing used to. It doesn't have the long lead injector, whatever they call them, as the late 99s and up half, so that's why you get the, well, now you don't have it. You hear that? It's like, right, 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 right. With the long lead eighth, eighth injector, they somehow got rid of that. So it's supposedly normal. Try to chase that around when I first got the truck. Anyways, guys, so got rid of that smoke. I don't know. Can't really put a finger on it besides that too much oil in my fuel system. Yeah, I can't give any more information, really. Got nothing else to share as far as this truck goes. Other than that, you know, she's been running good. The guy seems to be happy pulling with it and that's about it guys yeah, as always have a mighty fine day